Bonsoir à tous et bienvenue à cette nouvelle émission du Swing Time Golf Show où nous allons parler bien sûr de golf et du business associé au golf. Et ce soir, nous avons sur ce plateau deux invités, nommément Dinesh Kiapa, Food and Beverages Manager au Caso Arena Resorts Spa à Trobich, et Billy Narina, Director of Golf de Swing Time. Et vous aurez aussi l'occasion euh, d'écouter une interview de euh, Tambi Palanendi, golfeur, et j'ai à mes côtés donc euh, pour euh, cette émission ce soir le co-présentateur euh, Rob Grieve. Hi Rob. Good evening Joseph and good evening viewers. Welcome again to another episode of the Swing Time Golf Show where we talk the business of golf. As excitement mounts for the second year celebration of the existence of Swing Time, our guest tonight include amateur golfer Mr. Dinesh Kipa, our director of golf at Swing Time, Billy Narena, who will be talking to us about the Swing Time Adopter Golfer Program, a year in existence, and also a very interesting conversation with the grandfather of golf here in Mauritius, Mr. Tambi Palanyandi. When we come back from a commercial break, Joseph will be speaking to our first guest, Mr. Dinesh Kipa. Property and real estate, construction, finance, investment, retail and wholesale, human resource and recruitment, sports and leisure, tourism, education and hospitality. Market Info Direct. Our business is helping yours to succeed. Notre premier invité de ce soir est Dinesh Kiapa. Bonsoir Dinesh. Bonsoir. Donc Dinesh Kiapa, ou Food and Beverages Manager au Casa Arena Resort and Spa à Trobiche, ou Vinda de un village du nord du pays, de Montsellement saint andré voilà. et au jeune, 34 ans, ou un golfeur amateur. Et dis-nous un coup, qui manie sa passion du golf à une fin de vie d'eau Moi, je commence le golf à, à l'âge de 13 ans. Et les mots, je suis à l'école, les mots, je suis au collège, euh, de mon congé à l'école, euh, juste pour gagner un petit pocket de money, moi, je vais faire caddie à l'hôtel Trobiche. Et depuis ça, je là, le golf, euh, il y a des affaires extraordinaires pour moi. Et moi, je pense, et, euh, tout le temps, moi, je pense à travers le golf, mon cas, je fais une carrière professionnelle. Et je vous dis, moi, j'ai un statut à travers le golf. Je me donne une position à l'hôtel Casuarina grâce à mon golf. Je vous Nous venons de l'autre parcours en tant qu'un joueur de golf. Tiens, nous venons de quelle manière vous venez commencer d'abord et après, au fil des ans, quelle manière vous venez évoluer en tant qu'un joueur. Ok, comme on fait déjà où, moi je commence le golf à l'âge de 13 ans et euh, moi je fais caddie pendant 3-4 ans. Ensuite, moi j'ai une opportunité pour faire mon étude en Allemagne. Mm -hmm. Ok, moi j'ai fait mon étude en Allemagne, moi j'ai étudié et euh, pendant mon étude, moi j'ai eu l'occasion de faire le golf euh, dans un grand terrain, dans un grand terrain de golf en Allemagne. Mm -hmm. Et à travers de ça, le golf il vient des affaires, pour moi il vient des affaires vraiment intéressantes. Mm -hmm. Et euh, moi je continue de jouer au golf, euh, les mondes de Maurice, moi je continue de jouer au golf, euh, moi je joue au même, même, même handicap. Et euh, voilà, et là, je joue mon congé, mon content, mon content à ce golf, mon content passe mon, passe, passe, passe mon journée dans, dans, dans ma terrain de golf. Donc, euh, on a un, donc une longue carrière de golfeur amateur, et aussi, on a un bon souvenir pendant toute l'année que vous finissez le golf. Là. Oui, effectivement, on a un souvenir, un bon souvenir, on joue pas mal de compétitions en Maurice, on joue un, un tas golfeur, un tas amateur. Et puis, je me fais l'expérience à l'étranger. Par exemple, je vais dire en Allemagne. Mon meilleure expérience, c'est qu'il me fait, c'était en Espagne. Ok, moi, j'ai joué golf pendant cinq jours. Moi, j'ai joué golf dans un grand terrain comme Val de Rama, comme un terrain à Monte Mayo. C'est un terrain qui est bien connu. Et voilà quoi. Je pense que vous avez aussi l'occasion de côtoyer un joueur professionnel. Bien sûr, par exemple, euh, M. Billy Naraina, qui est juste à côté de moi, c'est un professionnel. Et euh, d'ailleurs, moi, j'ai beaucoup l'occasion, euh, je golfe avec euh, Billy. Et puis, euh, de temps en temps, Billy me donne un tips euh, au niveau golf. Et aussi, euh, aussi il y a les moussis dans le pays étranger. Moi, j'ai l'occasion de euh, jouer avec euh, pas mal de professionnels. Donc, euh, là, nous connaissons qu'il y a un poste de responsabilité en tant que manager, food and beverages, donc, et aussi ou, ou amateur de golf. Dis-nous, est-ce que euh, le travail permet tout 
euh, continuer à pratiquer le golf comme tu peux pratiquer auparavant Non, pas du tout. Auparavant, on a monté l'école, moi je viens plus l'occasion, même moi je n'ai pas la responsabilité. Mais maintenant, je n'ai pas gagné ça l'occasion de jouer le golf chaque semaine. Ben, quand, même, quand même, ça, moi essaye de tenir les temps pour moi, ok, pour jouer une fois par mois. Donc, dans un domaine différent. Voilà. Alors, vous dire auparavant que grâce au golf, vous avez fait une situation professionnelle euh, dans la carrière, dans la restauration. Et dites-nous quelle manière ça, golf, a finalement, nous, donc, vers sa profession de, de la restauration. Ça, c'est une, une, vraiment une longue histoire qui me raconte tout. Quand vous dites, oh, moi, tu peux faire cadre auparavant, à l'époque. Je suis en une coupe allemand à l'hôtel Trobiche mmh. et je euh, suis fait cadrer avec lui. Et je euh, me fait cadrer un jour, deux jours, trois jours. Et ensuite, je me dit, je me suis dit, qui m'a fait qui m'a pensé pour faire après Je me suis dit, 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 pour faire, pour, pour faire une étude à l'extérieur, parce que je suis marié pour faire une étude à l'extérieur. Et je ben, propose moi, pour faire une étude à l'extérieur, je ben, finance moi, moi, l'école, je ben, finance moi, tout, 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 tout. Et euh, voilà, et euh, depuis ça, je là, je fais mon ben, école hôtelière euh, à l'étranger, en Allemagne. Je fais mon ben, 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 hôtel management, je euh, gagne l'occasion de travailler devant un grand rôle hôtel comme Hilton Sheraton à l'étranger. Et depuis ça, je là, je suis choisi la restauration, les mon retour de Maurice, je travaille dans pas mal des hôtels à Maurice. Par exemple, pour Groupe Apavou, pour Sun Resort, pour Bichcomba, pour Constance, et maintenant, mon cas et Le Swing Time est un programme pour un jeune golfeur mauricien, Adobe et Golfer. Et M. Olvin Dan parlé, il y a un jeune golfeur qui peut une aide professionnelle en tant qu'équipement, en tant qu'entraîneur aussi. Ouais, grâce à ce programme-là, euh, au cas de nous, l'opinion concernant ça. Moi, je trouvé que c'était un programme extraordinaire, Adapé Golfer, et euh, malheureusement, à l'époque, euh, nous n'avons pas de gain, ça va être l'occasion. Et moi, si je suis capable de dire, je suis jeune aujourd'hui, et il euh, ne faut pas rater l'occasion, c'était une opportunité vraiment super. Bien, 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 bien. Il y a beaucoup d'avantages, il y a beaucoup de facilité. Par exemple, je prends un exemple, euh, mon un camarade qui appelle Mourat, euh, il était cadré avec moi auparavant. Nous avons l'occasion de golf auparavant, souvent, et mettre auparavant, bon, enfin, je ne peux pas jouer, il n'y a pas de golfer, ok mm -hmm. Et maintenant, avec ce programme Adapé Golf, euh, Adapé Golf là, je me euh, trouve aujourd'hui une séance de golf à 100%. Mm -hmm. Il y a besoin de golf extraordinaire, il y a besoin de golf vraiment, allons dire, comme un professionnel. Okay? Et aussi, euh, grâce à M. Bélina Raina, qui peut, qui peut entraîner ça l'équipe-là, je pense que c'est une affaire vraiment, vraiment bien pour les jeunes. Et vous, euh, Dinesh, en tant que donc, euh, qui pratique le golf depuis longtemps, et qui conseille au cas d'une banzen qui a envie, euh, disons, de faire une carrière dans sa golf-là Honnêtement, pour les jeunes, il y a beaucoup de jeunes euh, qui ont envie de jouer golf, mais comment nous dire, Maurice, pour jouer golf, pour jouer golf, pour jouer golf d'un terrain, c'est un peu difficile parce que nous avons une green fille. Mm -hmm. ouais, une green fille, qui nous avons capable de payer une green fille au 2500 ou 3000 roupies. Et je ne pense pas de vous permettre d'un jeune pour payer sa green fille pour jouer golf euh, d'un terrain privé. Mais sinon, moi, qui, moi, moi, qui, pensé, quelle façon est-ce capable de faire pour vous euh, Moi, je pense que c'est un business terrain public pour un jeune. Un terrain de golf public que un jeune qui pratique ce golf. Même si nous ne pas si nous pas fait un terrain public, je pense que faire un driving range, mm -hmm. ok, comme un jeune qui a une cinquantaine de balles, une centaine de balles, que est capable de keeping fit. Donc, euh, merci Dinesh, on vient de nous appeler là pour répondre à nos bonnes questions. Voilà donc, euh, c'était l'interview de Dinesh Kiapa, Food and Beverages Manager au Casuarina Resort and Spa à Trobiche. Une pause commerciale et nous revenons avec l'interview de Billy Narena avec Rob Grief. With our finger on the pulse of activity throughout our business sectors, we at Market InfoDirect are leaders in dominating the business environment. As specialists, we facilitate all aspects of these sectors 
with a high standard of professional service. One key, one solution. Market Info Direct. Our business is helping yours to succeed. Welcome back again, viewers, to the Swing Time Golf Show, where we talk the business of golf. I'm speaking to Mauritian professional golfer and director of golf at Swing Time, Mr. Billy Narena. Hi there, Billy, and thanks for being here. Now, Billy, it's been a year since the Swing Time Adopt a Golfer initiative was started here in Mauritius. Um, what has been the results and your assessment of the adopter golfers through this period? Okay, you know, when we started with the boys, mm -hmm. for example, let's take for example Murad, he was a 14 handicap. Mm -hmm. And the only way you will know if you are a really, really good player, you have to improve your handicap. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the main reasons that we started to work the swing mm -hmm. to get more consistency on the hit. Mm -hmm. Because you just don't go on the course and hit the ball. Right. You can score good, but you don't play very well. So it's better to play very well and not even scoring good. You, need, you just need the score when you play in competition. Mm. So this is how we started, the first thing that we, we did and what we, I first told them at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now, Billy, they accompanied you to India for the PGTI last year, uh, end of the year. Um, what was that experience like for them? A lot of these golfers, local Mauritian boys, have never even been outside or off the island. What was that experience like for them as far as receiving training from professional Indian golfers? When we went there, mm. you could see that the boys, they are more attentive. Mm. And it was already like two months that we started obtaining. All the, the pros managed to, to, to teach them the right way, mm. that they have to be very, very attentive, patient and disciplined. Mm. Now, as part of their training, we've also facilitated them traveling to Switzerland to participate in the first Bern Cup trophy um, in Bern. Their performance in, in this international corporate competition was exceptional. Um, our swing time adopter golfers placed not only first with Murad winning the tournament, but um, the other adopter golfer, Jayesh, that went with him also scored very well. What, how was this, the, the performance received by the people in Switzerland? We only knew the result after when we went for the prize giving. Mm. So one of the women there, she asked me, how long have you been playing golf? Mm. I said, I know it's maybe five or six years ago, mm. but they only been training with me not even a year, mm. so they were so impressed. Right. They said, how can they be playing so good? Mm. But, you know, I keep telling to people, golf is, is a disciplined game, mm. the result will come by itself. Mm. So there was, you know, people were like, they couldn't believe. Mm. How can they be playing golf and having training for more than six or eight months playing at and playing at that level, you know. Mm. But I can say, I must say that to people that the most of the courses in Mauritius are more difficult. Oh, really? Than, than, than overseas. Is it? Because we, 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 we must not forget that Mauritius, most of the courses, we play at sea level. Mm. So where you don't get more flight. Right. You know, when you hit your drive, you don't get more carry on the flight. Right. But whereas over there, you know, it's the altitude, so you, you hit longer mm. and you feel more relaxed to mm. play, you know, then it makes the, the hole easier for you. <laughs> 10, 20 years ago, there wasn't any initiative like this, particularly developing the talent of disadvantaged youth here in Mauritius. What does this program really mean to the people of Mauritius? You can see that the boys, they are looking forward mm to become a pro and it will take them less time than we we took mm. because you know having the training having the equipment mm. because they are having like Murad and Reed one you know yeah. so it's mean for them something it's a great opportunity that they would have never had you know since we've started our swing time out of a golf like golf mm. tips I can tell you many people keep telling me now we really want to start golf mm. Because for them, they would have never believed that the, the Mauritian will have the opportunity. Right. Billy, part of Swing Time's aim has really been to truly democratize golf here in Mauritius for the local people. Do you believe that the Swing Time Adopter Golfer Program has proven effective in this endeavor, in this aim? Yeah, it's sure, because if you can consider that Murad is a boy from the northern village of Mauritius, from mm -hmm. Triole. Ridwan is from the center of the island, mm -hmm. and Jayas and Vicky, they are from the south. So we, we are really giving most of the people everywhere in the country the chance to 
to play golf. Play golf and develop their talent. Of course, because you know, for them it is a great opportunity. We're going to be having the Swing Time Adopter Golfer Pro-Am competition the 30th of October. What can our viewers expect from the performance of our Adopter Golfers so far? So, for example, when we started, Murad was a 14 handicap. Mm -hmm. Reed one was 8. JS and, and Vicky were both 12. Mm -hmm. So you will see that they will be playing with a new handicap. Right. So just to give you an idea that Murad is now a 9 handicap. Mm -hmm. And uh, even JS and Vicky are also 9. And Reed one, he can play 6 handicap. So our Swing Time Adopter Golfer program has proven to be successful. Of course, that's for sure. We are really... In encouraging the youngster to, pl to play golf. Well, thank you very much, Billy. We're looking very forward to seeing the Swing Time Adopter Golfers perform at the Swing Time Adopter Golfer Pro Am the 30th of October. And you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. <laughs> when we come back, we'll be speaking to the grandfather of golf, Tambi Palanyandi, a golfer over 80 years old who still continues to teach and play and who's seen pretty much the full heritage of golf here in Mauritius. We're at the Dodo Club and the Swing Time Golf Show where we talk the business of golf is speaking to one of the great golfing personalities here in Mauritius. In fact, Mr. Tambi Palamyandi is the great grandfather of golf. The 80-year-old golfer still continues to coach golf here at the Dodo Club and has had a rich experience of golf here, experiencing the history, personalities, playing with some great golf championships. Now, you are the grandfather of golf here in Mauritius. I believe you've been playing golf almost all your life. Yes, true. When did you start playing golf? I started to play when I was 12 years old, that in 1942. Mm -hmm. And that I started because I started because I was... After school, I went to Cuddy. Okay. And then, from there on, I learned because I was Cuddy with one of the best players mm -hmm. on the island. Name was John Island. Okay. And he was a great... I think it was playing handicap press. Plus four, right. that's something. So that inspired you also yeah, to start taking up Yeah, and then from together. there on, I look, and then at time to time I take a club and have a swing. Mm. And then when I start, I had no club. Right. I, I bent a, a water pipe, making like a putter, and I was playing with that. Then there were no golf clubs available to a young, and aspiring no, it was, boy. it was very hard. And then even to get a golf ball, mm. it's not that easy. Right. <laughs> Now, over the years, you've also played with some of many golfing greats oh, and yeah. golf players throughout yeah. history. I played with uh, Gary Player mm -hmm. uh, down at Saint-Jean in 1978. What was that experience like playing with Gary That's, Player? That was the greatest day of my life yes. to play with him. And then he just won the, the PGA when he came to Mauritius. Okay. It was among, it was the fifth among, among the fifth the best. In the world, and right, right. I played with him. You know, after after the game, that's the word Gary has told me. He said, with my pitching, mm. he can take me around the world. Fantastic. Uh, playing with a guy like Gary Player, during that 18 hole, I think four or five times, he told me, don't bother to bring your putter. <laughs> that means the pitching was deadly. Right. Now you've also been to Sun City and played with some golf. Yes, stars I played. There. Yes, there I played with Bernard Langer, mm -hmm. Lee Trevino, and all the the Henning brothers. Right. What was that experience like? I tell you, this is something out of this world. Mm. You will you will never be able to forget thing like this. Mm. To playing in a course like Sun City mm. and to play among. Those, those big players, right. it was something. Now, you, over the years, you have also, you've been a caddy, you've played golf. Yeah. At the age of 80, you still continue to teach golf here yes. at the Dodo Club. Yeah. Tell us about that, because obviously golf is a great passion for you. Yes, golf is, is almost my, my second life. Right, right. <laughs> because golf, I make a living, to tell you the truth, out of golf. Mm. And I... And I love mm. teaching, right? Because I want everybody to come the best, right? Golf in Mauritius has this rich history and this rich heritage. It's the third country after India in the world where golf was played. Yeah. What, and and you've seen golf. You've seen golf clubs grow. You've yeah. played at all the courses. 
you've taught many generations of golfers yes, here in Mauritius. True, yeah. What can you say in your experience we need to do to develop golf more amongst all the people of Mauritius and amongst the youth? The, that's a very good question. You know, as you know yourself, golf it's a very, very good game mm. and very interesting. But at the same time, it costs a lot. Mm. Because there are lots of people who want to play golf. Mm. But in Mauritius, there's no, there's lots of uh, private club mm. and, the, and the hotel. Mm. But the thing is, you must have a, a golf course for the government where everybody can go and play. A public course. A public course. Mm. Every, you go there, you pay the green fees, but mm. because you must pay something mm. to but maintain. But everybody can to, have access yeah, to it. At, it must be a reasonable price. Mm. If anybody can come and he pay that little fee, then he can mm. pay golf. Do you think that this would be the best way to identify talent amongst the local people? Oh, yes. Group? That's the best way. Mm. Because there are lots of even myself, mm. I've been lucky because I've been working in a golf in a golf club. Right. So I can I can now I can see what I've been what I can do mm. with that golf ball. Mm. But might be says plenty like me mm. because they haven't got the opportunity. Right. Well, with swing time, we started a year ago the swing time adopt a golfer program, um, and this was designed for to develop and fast track and train local Mauritian golfers. Yes. And we've sent them to India, we've also sent them to Switzerland, uh -huh. um, where they won the competition there, the yeah. first Burn Golf Trophy presented by the Swiss Invest Group. If there was a training program that, that sponsors the development of golfers in your day, do oh, you think uh, that the state of golf amongst the people of Mauritius would have been oh, yes. you know, far more developed? Yes, far more developed, mm. yeah. To this day, you still continue to share your knowledge and your experience. Oh with yes, the yeah, yeah. Now, I got, I got two little boys here, mm. and that when I tell you this, surprise me. Mm. And this is the word. Huh? Mm. They, they are say, five years, right? And the way they swing that club, yes, I was surprised. They say golf is not just a sport that you play for a year or two, you play it for a whole lifetime. If you can, if you can walk, mm. there's no age. Mm. Over the years, living in Mauritius, traveling internationally, yeah. playing with great golfers and champ golf champions, how have you seen the development of golf to in what it is today in Mauritius? In Mauritius, uh, what now, we've got plenty of golf course, mm. but as I said, for the Mauritian, Mm. normal Mauritian people, mm. we haven't got something for them. Right. Because that's what we need. Mr. Philomiandi, what is your advice for youngsters wanting to play the game and also wanting to become professional golfers, particularly for the youth here in Mauritius? What can you tell them? Golf, as you know, mm. it takes lots of time. Mm. To be, to be come to a professional golfer, you must have lots of patience. Mm. Because myself, at one stage I was hitting a minimum 200 ball every day. Mm. And, but to hit 200 ball every day, you must have the time. Right. So they must be patient. And then to tell patient, the patient for the young And body. then your physical condition mm. must be top. top. Right. If not, you won't be... A, if you think you're going to have mm. to take drug or to, to take this or that, then mm. you, you can forget about golf. Right. Now also, you will also be playing in the Swing Time Adopter Golfer Pro-Am the 30th of October. Yeah. And seeing our young men also play. It's going to be a great honor to have you there. We're looking very forward to seeing you. Yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to But I told them. Because now, you know, I used to play Handicap Plus 3. Mm. But now I play lousy 12 in the cup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Palagandi. It's been a great honor to have your time with us here well, on the Swing I must thank you show. for coming to see me. And we'll see okay. you on the 30th of October. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Merci donc à nos invités. Nous sommes arrivés à la fin de notre émission. Rendez-vous uh, vendredi pour le Adopt a Golf Golf Tips. Merci de votre fidélité et à bientôt. Bye, Rob.
Thank you, Joseph. And thank you again, viewers, for joining us at the Swing Time Golf Show, where we talk the business of golf. I'd like to thank our guest tonight, Mr. Dinesh Kiepa, Director of Golf, Vili Narena, and the grandfather of golf, Mr. Falanyandi, Mr. Tambi Falanyandi. Don't forget to tune in to the Swing Time Adopt a Golf for Golf Tip Show on Friday, where Billy Narena helps you perform even better with your golf.